everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. So, for today's video, I thought it would, might be fun to do a wish list video. And basically, my friend Kalu, it, who also has a YouTube channel, I will list her channel and Instagram down below. You gotta go follow her. She is coming to visit in about six days. Guys, I can't even handle my excitement. So, six, six, one six. We're almost on one hand. That's how crazy it is. It is insane. Anyway, I wanted to talk about all the makeup that I want to purchase when she's here or try to purchase or I'm going to be on a budget, but I'm going to let myself go just a little bit crazy when she's here because uh, we love shopping for makeup. <clears throat> wow, what happened to my voice right there? I have my computer screen right here because we created a Excel spreadsheet on Google Drive and that way we could like edit each other's list and stuff like that. Not that we would, but you know what I'm saying, like easily accessible. Just go down the line and I'll talk about what I want and what I am hoping to purchase. So if you want to know that, then just keep watching. So to start, the first thing that's on my list, and it's not, not really in particular order, this is just kind of from oldest to newest of what I've wanted like a long time ago, ever since the beginning of this trip planned. Um, so just keep that in mind. This is the Natasha Denona 5 Pan Blue and Silver Palette. I was looking online at it and I kind of fell head over here in love with it. Although if I get the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place, I probably don't need that many silver because I don't really wear that much silver. Actually, I'm going to edit this now and take that off. I'm glad we're doing this video and I hope you guys like it. <laughs> I do want to try the Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Lipsticks. I've heard they're really amazing and they're really cheap so I can just grab a couple and be done and then there's that. I also want to try the Makeup Geek Liquid Lipsticks. There's a particular color, the Berry Pink Fuchsia one that looks really, really pretty and I really want to try them. So there's that. I really want to try the Luxie Shadows, the one in the pan that looks like tie-dye. And the pigmentation is like Juvia's Place kind of, so um, I want to explore that website and see what there is, what they have to offer. Really want to try the ColourPop Neon Pressed Shadows. There's a couple of really gorgeous ones. If they have a matte yellow, huh, I'm sold. Sold. Dead. I also kind of want to try, now that we're on ColourPop, the Blotted Lips because I think those would be really fun for the summer and like really relevant because it's like a popsicle kind of look to your lips, which I really like. Um, I also want to get the Milani Colorful Palette, you know, the ones that Emily Noel has raved about. Um, that's like a maybe. I want to look at it more closely and see which is maybe. I'm not sure about that. That's a maybe. Um, I want an orange lipstick color real bad. I have a custom shade right now. This is a lip liner with a um, Revlon lip butter out over top. And I, I like this combination, but I want something a little bit more orangey. So Canoe has suggested the Sephora one. So that one's on my list. And then there's also a Maybelline one, Shocking Coral, that looks really pretty. And I love the Maybelline formula, so I'm down for that one. Thinking about the Anastasia blush palette, I'm not too sure about that. That's 40 bucks. Uh, the Juvia's Place blush palette comes with six. I don't know how much it is, but that one's also intriguing me. So I don't know. I have to like balance things out there, make sure I'm being like smart about it, you know? The next thing is on my list is the Becca Lip Toppers, you know, the ones that are like the shimmery perfecter. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I'll post a picture of it. Um, Young Wild and Polish on her Snapchat, she swatched them on her lips and I just about had a heart attack and died. So uh, the purple and the pink one is are the two that I'm interested in. I don't know how much those are either, so I'll have to be careful there. But the other thing that I'm thinking about getting on my list is the G. Sheen Mikkel collection from Urban Decay. I don't know how to say that, but it's a really colorful one. Vintage or Tacky did a really cool tutorial on that. And she, everybody raves about those eyeliners. Oh my god, that lime green eyeliner is like calling my name. And then there's an Inglot single green eyeshadow number 317. I'll post this on the screen for you so you can see. Um, I want to get that because in the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I talked myself out of, there was a really pretty teal and I really don't want to get involved with that whole thing. So I 
decided to just go with the Inglot, and I think that's much better. Especially if, like, it's just the teal that I want in the Morphe palette, then there's no point in getting the whole palette, because the rest is kind of neutral and boring. These two are two um, BH Cosmetics palettes, and my store finally is selling BH Cosmetics, as you guys know if you follow me on Instagram, which is incredible. I'm really excited about that Galaxy palette. Holy crap. However, our discount doesn't work on the makeup, so that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, we're also starting to sell, or going to be selling, e.l.f., so, whoa, there's a lot going on, but it's super exciting stuff. I really have been into BH Cosmetics. I have a couple of things from BH Cosmetics that I truly love, like the Black Light Highlight Palette, and I think I want that Warmer Tone Palette as well. Um, the thing on my list is the new BH Cosmetics, is the new BH Cosmetics... Carly Bible palette. The pink peachy shade in there. Oh my god. And then it comes with four highlighters. It just looks like an all-inclusive palette. And I've been really happy with BH shadows so far. So I really am interested in those. Thinking about the Shannon XO palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm kind of like, maybe I saw good swatches online and a few of my friends thought it was a good palette. So I'm like, maybe I'm interested in that. I don't know, because it comes with all that lip stuff on the back, and I'm not usually a huge fan of lip products like that, so we'll see. On here was the Naked Heat palette by Urban Decay, and I have definitely talked myself out of that palette. Because I have the Modern Renaissance, and just because I'm over the Urban Decay eyeshadows. I am. I don't like the formula. I like Juvia's Place a lot better. I'd rather spend my money at Juvia's Place, so there's that. Although I did say I was going to get the Jean M Michael collection. I'll have to, like, swatch that, maybe, and if I can, and see if they're the same quality. I've heard it's better than the um, Naked palettes. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Let me know down below. Um, next is the Stila Metal Liquid Glitter, you know, in the square tube, and everybody is dying over those, and they keep coming out with more and more, and that Cranberry Glitter looks insane, and I pretty much want that one. Um, I might want, like, a new more neutral one. Not that they're neutral, but, like, a gold or something like that that I can wear more often. Because sometimes that cranberry color is really hard to pull off. You have to have the right, like, look going on. Um, and it's usually a color for the winter, so there's that. Um, but I'm definitely interested in those Stila medals. I should have gotten one at the VIB sale. Kind of regret that. <laughs> okay, so next on here I have the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. Now... I have been talking about Juvia's Place, I feel like, for a straight hour. <laughs> I filmed three videos today, so I'm like, Pluh! Juvia's Place this, Juvia's Place that. Um, this one, I think I'm going to take this one off my list because I want the Magic Palette. And the two of them, there's three similar shades in that palette, those palettes, so I don't want to overdo it with in that sense. So, uh, yeah. There's that. And then also not on here is the um, Maybelline Rainbow Highlight that I think just came out. And then also the Volume 2 Blush Palette that I mentioned when I was talking about the Anastasia. And I think that is it so far on my list. And then, you know, we're going to have a lot of here and there things. Um, I'm just so excited to spend money on makeup because I really honestly haven't. I've been really, really good. Um, the only thing that I bought... That was like, that broke my no buy was this guy right here. The Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. Oh, and the, um, and the Bare Minerals. Uh, this is the big de debut. So between those two things, those are the only, like, makeup products I've bought in 2017 that I kind of wasn't supposed to. But I haven't bought any lip products. I haven't bought any, um blushes. I haven't bought any blushes at all. I haven't bought any highlighters at all this year in 2017. So I give myself a real big thumbs up and a pat on the back. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited for my friend Canoe to get here. So if you guys don't follow her, go follow her. I'll post her channel and Instagram down below, like I said, I think in the intro. But I hope you guys thought this video was fun. And what's on your wish list right now? Um, do you have anything in mind? that you want to pick up for the summertime? Are there any fun collections coming up that you are really interested in? Let me know. 
and don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified of all of my videos and of course hit that subscribe button so you can stick around for as long as you need to. <laughs> um, anyway, that is it for me. I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone!